Hi, Dad. How are you today? Good evening, Jordana. Another weekend, a beautiful weekend. And I'll be honest, I am tired of football. <laughs> I've watched it all afternoon. And now I want to share with our viewing audience what a wonderful homework we saw last night. I, Dad, I couldn't agree more. Uh, last night, I thought, was one of the best start yes. of Countdown to Christmas we've had yet. It was the first of the Hallmark, you know, for Christmas. And if this is any indication of what's to come, Hallmark is going to be a wonderful viewing for everyone. It was super last night. What did you think? I thought it was great. We actually watched last night, which was Saturday night, we watched the yes. Friday presentation. So yes. they replay it on the Saturday. Um, and so we weren't sure which we were gonna watch. We were deciding between the Friday night and the Saturday. We always watch it on Saturday. So we said, well, let's start and see what Friday night's like and see if we like it. And we couldn't leave the presentation. It was so wonderful, so warm and, and, and had such wonderful uh, actors and actresses and the plot line was super. We couldn't stop watching it. No, from the beginning, they, yes. they, they got you involved in the holiday right from the beginning. From uh, They captured our hearts right from the beginning. The storyline I yes. thought was fantastic. Um, I loved the idea. This movie was called Twas the date before Christmas. Uh, the date before Christmas. Yeah. And yes. we saw the previews and we thought it was going to be cute, but we didn't know how cute. Well, the actress uh, who played the lead um, and her name uh, was Amy Groening, uh, she played uh, Jesse Chamberlain. And it was the Chamberlain annual Christmas party. And Amy... Um, is relatively uh, new to leading roles. Yeah, and Hallmark. In, in Hallmark. And was she wonderful. Captivating, I thought. Yes. I mean, it was so believable. And you just wanted to reach out and hug her like your own daughter. That's how, how wonderful she was. And the gentleman who played her leading man. Yeah. Uh, Robert Buckley. Robert Buckley is no stranger to Hallmark. And he, too was wonderful and the chemistry yeah. between these two actors kept us all enthralled. Yeah. So Dad, yeah. my my generation with Robert Buckley, we go way back. He was in yes. One Tree Hill. He's now on the Drama Queens podcast. Yes. He is fantastic. And yeah. any movie with him, I was gonna say yes, we're watching this, but fantastic. I adored both of them in this. Yes. And I loved how playful they were together in this. They started on a dating website and from the start, they were so playful. Well, it, it, it it's a story that's believable. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of people uh, in your generation and the younger generation have on, been on dating websites. And we know that people have met and married after being introduced to each other on the dating wave yeah. uh, sites. And so I thought this was just a wonderful presentation. Yeah, and their interaction was great. And, you know, so a little bit, we're not going to give the plot away because it yes. was fantastic. But they met and she was looking for a date, a blind date, just for this one night because she didn't want change in her life. And she needed um, a yes. date for her annual family Christmas. And so she really didn't share with Brian is the character. Um, yes. What was going to happen? She just said, will you come to my, you know, Christmas with my family? Yes. And what we learned is that she had lost uh, the love of her life, uh, whose name was Sean. We never met Sean. And he had a sudden uh, illness and he uh, died at a very young age. And uh, that is sort of like, you know, the... The, the story, uh, the love story in the 1970s uh, where uh, the young man uh, marries the young lady and she comes down with leukemia. And we, we hear this uh, feeling of loss, but a feeling of rekindling of love. 
Yeah. And this is what we saw in this wonderful film. Yeah, it was it was really good. Of course, there was something that got in, in the way, yes. but it you know we all Hallmark through its way. They always rekindle, and yep. I I, I yep. really yep. loved this this movie. The family, <laughs> what a fun family. This was about yep. a family that had an Olympics. Uh, yes, uh, and every family has a tradition. Yeah. Uh, uh, for Christmas, uh, some families uh, uh, all uh, get up dressed up in fancy sweaters with reindeers and and Santa Clauses, and some families get together in pajamas. And this family got together Christmas Eve uh, in a family contests. It was so yeah. fun. It it, it, it makes it, it, you want to have your family start this wheel and like yes. spin for like activities. And and ha compete and it was it just looks so much fun. Well, I recommend if you haven't watched this show, uh, "Twas the Date Before Christmas." It's a must see. The, you you must see it. It, it. it will keep you enthralled. You'll feel good. Uh, uh, you'll have a few tears, but you'll walk away saying, "I had a wonderful evening of entertainment," courtesy. Of Hallmark. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. At Hallmark, at Hallmark, I think, outdid themselves with this movie. Which for next week? So next week, there are two movies. And this one, it, we're we're really like spinning next week into two adventure movies, it looks like. So, um, and I think there's a third mm -hmm. one. I didn't look to Sunday because we're usually not going to be able to review the Sunday. We'll watch it probably, but we're not going to review it because we do our reviews on Sunday. Yes. So Friday night is Operation Nutcracker, and we haven't decided which one. So if there's one you want us to review, put it down in the comments and, and we'll, we'll, we'll watch, watch that. Yes. Otherwise, we're going to pick or choose which one we kind of see which one we like. But Operation Nutcracker, which is about these two characters that kind of are in there and a nutcracker goes missing and it's kind of a mystery. And then yeah. Saturday night is the Christmas charade. And this is where a librarian who's raised by um, some, uh, I don't know if they're FBI kind of things, but there's some yeah. kind of shenanigans that happens and she's kind of led into this FBI kind of, you know, shenanigans kind of lifestyle. And it, that kind of actually seems kind of fun. I think we may watch that one. Well, but. what we're seeing is that Hallmark uh, is uh, getting such wonderful material from its writers. And we sit and we uh, review the Hallmark, but what we're seeing is that Hallmark writers, the people behind the scenes who actually write the scripts, are wonderful. Or they pick really good books because a lot yes. of these movies are coming from actual books. And I, you know, and so we have to, there's such creative authors out there or screenplay writers. Yes. So when we, you know, it's amazing. It's, but tonight, the talent. yes, tonight uh, we should all uh, tune in and watch the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers uh, play the New York Mets yeah. to see who's going to get into the World Series. I want the Mets, I think. You know, the, I want the, a Subway a Subway, a subway series. series. Yeah, that would be I think cool. everybody's rooting for the Mets. Yeah. And uh, uh, tonight also, the Kansas City Chiefs uh, are remaining undefeated. And there is a love story for you that we started a year ago, you know, with uh, uh, Travis Kelsey and uh, uh, his uh, love, uh, Taylor Swift. And they met very similar. It was and, like a blind date. And now here we're a year later. And I think Hallmark's yeah. doing a spoof on it this yes. year in yeah. this season. So and, and those of our uh, listeners, they got to play part of this whole saga of uh, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. And it's still going on, just like the movie we watched last night. So it's very current. And we enjoy sharing with you. Jordan and I uh, enjoy uh, bringing to our audience such wonderful hallmarks. And again, we have to thank Hallmark. Yeah. They're wonderful. They are. Yes. They're keeping us busy on Saturday nights having such spectacular movies. You know, it's not busy. It's keeping us entertained. Yeah. And we can laugh and we can smile and we can occasionally cry because... <laughs> The world is sort of coming uh, together, you know, like hell in a handbag. 
and Hallmark is keeping us smiling and alert and happy. Well, and I think that is what this is about. Oh. This is to take our worries away for two hours of a time period, and right. that's the best part about this. And it brings our family together to watch Hallmark, and I hope it brings your family together. And Jordan and I wish everyone a wonderful week to come. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. Next week. Next week. So. With another bye review. Bye, everybody. See you take later. Take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones.